Hey there, I'm Anthony here at the WCP Industrial Packaging Lab. Today, we've teamed up with 3M to give you a comprehensive introduction to tape. Before we get into specifics, and oh, we will get into specifics, let's talk about types of tape. Our main focus will be on box sealing, masking, and duct, but we'll also cover some basics for flooring and electrical. All right, let's get started. First up, the industrial workhorse, the tape that makes the world go round. We're talking box sealing tape. Box sealing or packaging tape is a pressure sensitive tape that is used to prepare boxes for shipment. The main way in which these tapes differ from each other is in adhesion and thickness. There are two main types of adhesions, hot melt and acrylic. Hot melt adhesives are known for their quiet release and easy unwind during application. They also work great with corrugated adhesions. Acrylic adhesives are known for their clear, non-yellowing properties and work well on a variety of surfaces in low temperatures. Tape width will also make a difference in your packaging needs. Instead of using two strips of two inch tape, you can upgrade to three inch width and save time and money. We recommend using two inch width tapes for boxes under 15 inches long where flaps meet. You can upgrade to three inch tape for boxes over 16 inches long or where flaps on the box don't meet. Here are a couple products in the box sealing world we love. First, the 371. This is a go-to packaging tape for everyday use on single parcel shipments. This tape works particularly well in hot temperatures. Next, we have the 311 Plus. This has a more aggressive and quick stick that's perfect for palletizing. Unlike the 371, the 311 Plus has the durability necessary to hold up in cold and damp environments. The quickest and easiest way to seal a shipping box is to use a handheld tape dispenser, which applies the tape tightly to the box and helps reduce tape waste. You can get box sealing tape in two inch, which is the most common, or three inch. To start, fold the two smaller flaps in, followed by the two larger flaps. Make sure the flaps are close together then, using the handheld tape dispenser, seal the edges of the corrugated box going across the whole length where the flaps were closed. When doing this, allow a couple inches of overhanging tape and secure it to the side of the box. This makes it more difficult for the box to burst open if it gets tipped or lifted improperly. To provide extra strength and to ensure all the flaps of the box are sealed from dust, insects, or water, use the letter H seal method used by most moving companies. Once complete, the tape on the box will look like a capital letter H. It will also reveal any evidence of tampering. Pro tip here, applying a second strip of tape exactly over the first strip will not make the shipment more secure. The adhesive needs to be applied directly to the corrugated surface for proper adhesion with the fibers. All right. Now it's time for the most artistic type of tape, masking. Masking tape is an easily removed adhesive tape used for defining margins and protecting surfaces. The adhesiveness in masking tape is what really makes it unique. It has the ability to stick to surfaces and be easily removed without leaving any residue or causing any damage to the surface. There are two main types of masking tape, rubber-based and acrylic based. Rubber based masking tape is used for general day to day applications and provides a strong bond in plastic materials, but it's not 
a great performer in high heat environments. Acrylic based masking tape, on the other hand, works great in high and low temperatures, making it a favorite for more harsh environments. Masking tapes also differentiate themselves with their color. White, blue, yellow, the list is long and allows you to customize your tape to fit your needs. Masking tapes are most commonly used in the painting industry, but have a variety of applications beyond that, such as plastic adhesion. One of our favorite masking tapes is the 201 Plus from 3M. This cost-effective masking tape is the standard go-to for light to medium duty applications. It works well on wood, plastic, glass, metal, and painted surfaces. And when you peel it off, you'll be hard pressed to find any residue. We also like the 401 Plus from 3M. It's an industrial masking tape that delivers sharp, clean paint lines and is ideal for high temperature applications in the automotive industry like paint baking, fascia painting, and powder coating applications. There's a wide variety of masking tapes and 3M and WCP can help you find the right product to fit your needs. Now it's time for my personal favorite, the tape that is probably holding up about 20% of our world right now, duct tape. Duct tape was first invented in 1942 in the middle of the Second World War. Although it was initially created to seal soldiers' ammunition boxes, it has gained worldwide fame as the tape that can do it all. Duct tape consists of a rubber adhesive cloth and film backing and is known for its strength, durability, and flexible application between indoor and outdoor use. Duct tape differs based on grades, which determine the applications it should be used for. The grade refers to the type of adhesive and strength of the cloth backing. The cloth backing is the main factor in the strength of the duct tape, which can vary from light to medium to heavy duty. Duct tape has now become multi-purpose, hence its end consumer popularity, and can be used for sealing, patching, repairs, and general adhesion. A customer favorite product here is the DT8 from 3M. It's probably what you picture when you think of duct tape. It's an all-purpose duct tape that can be used for maintenance, repair, construction, and pretty much anything else. It has an instant adhesion and it tears easily by hand, making it so easy to use. Think MacGyver in a sticky situation. Duct tape is one of the most versatile tapes on the market, and depending on how you intend to use your tape, WCP can point you in the right direction in terms of strength and durability. So we've talked about box sealing, masking, and duct tapes. Those three are super popular tapes and cover a wide variety of industries and uses. Now we're going to get a little more specific and talk about flooring and electrical. Flooring tape is very appropriately named as it is typically used as a safety tape for marking floors, walls, loading docks, pretty much anything you need marked. You can imagine how important durability is with flooring tape. The adhesion in all flooring tape is extremely strong, helping it last for years through wear and tear. It can survive walking, kicking, scuffing, even pallets being dragged over it. Flooring tape, like masking tape, is customizable in terms of color, allowing you to create easy to follow paths and markings in your spaces, like social distancing markings. We offer several types of flooring tape that differ based on the type and shape of the surfaces they're being applied to. With any flooring tape, you'll get a safe, durable, and practical floor tape that's ready to be put to the test. The last tape I want to call out here is electrical tape. Electrical tape is known for its resistance to moisture and corrosion, and it can hold up in extreme temperatures over time. When purchasing electrical tape, it's important to consider the minimum and maximum temperatures, as well as the stretch of the material. These will dictate which product is best suited for your needs. Whew, that was a lot, but you made it. Believe it or not, we are just scratching the surface. There's a wide variety of tape products out there. 
It takes a true expert to know what tape to use in specific scenarios. But don't worry, that's why WCP is here. For any follow-up questions or more information about any of the products we covered today, reach out to your local WCP representative. We will always find the best solution. That's why it's in our name. <laughs>